If you know, you know. And we all know Gennady Golovkin avoided a fight with Devryachenko back in the day when he got stripped of the IBF belt because he didn't want to face his number one mandatory, Devryachenko, because he fought Devryachenko in the amateurs and he knew how good he was. So he didn't want that action at the time because he wanted to secure a Canelo fight and he didn't want to miss out on the big rematch with Canelo Alvarez where he ended up losing anyways. Now, Gennady Golovkin now stepping up to the plate against the Devryachenko. Finally, he ain't cherry picking anymore. He got forced to fight a good fighter because if he wants the big rematch with Canelo Alvarez, the trilogy match, he's going to have to fight somebody. He avoided a Charlo fight. He ducked Charlo when the WBC mandated him to fight Charlo. He ducked Andre when the zone and the WBO wanted him to fight Andre. He clearly ducked that fight, right? So after ducking Devryachenko the first time, now he was forced to fight Devryachenko because he's the number one mandatory for the IBF belt. Him and Devryachenko said they're going to fight for the vacant belt that Canelo Alvarez vacated. And now we'll see if Gennady Golovkin is going to be able to pull off that win. The fight should take place in October, I believe. And it's going to be a good fight. The advantage that Golovkin will have is that he has the longer reach. And the jab will be his most effective weapon. And y'all should look forward to Gennady Golovkin pumping the jab all night. He claimed he Mexican style. He was claiming he Mexican style from day one, right? So... Devryachenko is the perfect example of Mexican style because he used a lot of head movement, bob and weave like Chavez or Tyson, and he comes inside to do damage. So, hey, go toe to toe with Devryachenko if you want to prove that you Mexican style. But we all know what time it is with Gennady Golovkin. He's about to be Muhammad Ali style, just like when he fought Lemieux. The first time he fights a fighter that want to go to toe to toe, what he does, he want to be Muhammad Ali style. They told Canelo Alvarez he was running, well, keep the same energy. He was running in the rematch versus Canelo. So, I mean, it's a hypocrite statement, but we all know what time it is when it comes to the biggest cherry picker of our era, or maybe of all eras, you know. So, uh, Gennady Golovkin, at least he's fighting Devryachenko, which is a good fight, hopefully. Um, the winner of that possibly get Charlo or Andre or Canelo Alvarez. If it's Gennady Golovkin, best believe he will get Canelo Alvarez next, you know. I mean, Canelo want to fight Gennady Golovkin, don't get me wrong, but he just hate the fact that Gennady Golovkin won't fight anybody and just want to eat off of him. That's what Canelo Alvarez is really pissed about. So the fact that Gennady Golovkin is making a step up, fighting a Devoryachenko for Canelo belt, um, Canelo Alvarez should be very pleased with that. Now, that being said, Devryachenko has a style that would give, give Gennady Golovkin a lot of problems because Devryachenko applies a lot of pressure, goes to the body. So if Gennady Golovkin can't keep him off of him with the jab and control the distance, he's going to have a long night. So I'm looking forward to the fight. Um, drop in the comment section below who y'all picking to win that fight. And why? And like I always say, follow Lantoon Boxer on Instagram for the funniest boxing memes. Subscribe below if you're trying to get smarter by the minute. If you're trying to get dumb by the second, don't. And listen to these casual fans. All the links will be in the description box below. And to be continued on the next episode of IQ TV. Peace and we out of here.